My Halo car. Mm-hmm. I actually have hair. Hi. Yes. Hey everybody, I'm Derek, Children's Pastor of Lakewood Christian Center. And I would like to teach you how to do the prayerful friends. Alright? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty simple trick. Uh, you just need a deck of cards and a rubber band. Make sure your rubber band's not old or it'll break. Anyway, we had to go through like three or four before we had one that wouldn't break. Anyway, so what you want, you want your deck of cards. You don't have to do anything to it. You can let uh, pretty much the trick be run by whoever you're doing it for. You can have them select any card, and just for uh, so this sake, we're going to stick with the selected card from earlier. We're going to have that card selected. And uh, But you can have them select any card. It doesn't matter. You can have them uh, you know, go through the deck and pick whatever card they want to do. But that kind of hurts you later because what you want to do is ask, what's your favorite card? So that they can actually choose their favorite card, and then you can say, well, those are your best friends. And then that, that kind of fits, because if that's you and that's your favorite card, then that's obviously going to be your best friends. So you're at this position where you've got the selected card out, and you've got the best friends out. And what you want to do is get the selected card, you're going to lose it in the deck, and of course, what you're really doing is moving it to the top. And the way I enjoy doing that the most is a double undercut, which of course... You press it in. You can see that, right? All right? You press it in slowly, and you give yourself a little, like, kind of finger break, and I, I usually bring it back to a pinky break, like so. And then, so now I'm like this. i got to pink my pinky in the break. This is the selected card here. All right? Then I steal about half of the bottom cards with my pinky, bring it to the top, and now I'm holding a thumb break. And I do the same thing again, where now the top card is the selected card. <clears throat> That's my most common method of getting the card to the top. I'm pretty sure I told you in the past that I wasn't going to show you how to do that. But I'm not sure if I remember if I was going to say it doesn't matter. So now you know how to do it. Um, other, there's plenty of other methods to get a card to the top of the deck. Any way you want to do it, that's how you do it. And then, of course, you can this shuffle all day long and never lose it from the top of the deck as long as you know which side the top of the deck is so otherwise you'll mess it up so keep the card on the top of the deck you can talk and continue to tell the story or however however you want to do it and then what what I do is I take I get in a good mechanics grip here holding it like this this is the selected card just so you can see that's the selected card and we'll leave it like that then you take the friend and you put it on the top of the deck. So now you're covering the selected card. What I like to do then is pull up the two cards, the selected card and the friend card, and drop it to where there is a pinky break underneath the selected card. Then you can take the best friend card and slide it much like you would if you were just sliding it underneath. You want it to look like it's just sliding underneath the friend card like that. But really what you're doing is sliding it underneath the selected card. So you're sandwiching the selected card in between the two friend cards. So you're already stealing it away. And then you talk about the friends, cinch them up, and just pull them right off real nice and fluid and set them down. All right? And so then now this, this is just a deck of cards. There's, the selected card's not in there. So you can do whatever. You can take this and throw it in a wood chipper. It doesn't matter because you've already got the card down there. And I do the rubber band because it's, it's impossible for the card to get out of there. Right? Not, not getting out of there at all. So then you've got your rubber banded bound card. You're lost, you're bound, you're, you're broken, all that. And then you pick up the cards here. And if, if you can do it, and that's just the reason I don't do it, because I don't get it right very often, but if you can do it, you can pull that other card back a little bit so you've got both cards showing. It's very it's not an easy move to do without revealing that there's a third card in there. So usually I like to just take the two cards like this and you wave them over. And what you're doing when you're waving it over is you're moving it's you're kind of rubbing your thumb and fingers together while holding the card. So like this. 
and you see how that just kind of reveals the part that's underneath. And of course, this would be turned around. It's, it kind of loses its lackluster. It's kind of, it's not as popping as if you use like a blue or red deck because it's a white deck. You're kind of as soon as Dodo was doing it and it revealed, it was like that wasn't good enough. But anyway, so you do that, and when you do it fast. It just kind of pops out like that, and it looks like somehow it popped out of the deck. And you can reveal that it is the selected card. And those are the friends. And that's how you do it. Do you guys enjoy it? <laughs>